The Michigan Right to Farm Act, does it give you the right to raise chickens in your own backyard? Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the Division Director for the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, James Johnson. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it. The Michigan Right to Farm Act sounds like something that should uh, be helpful to regulate what uh, farmers and our ag industry folks are doing, um, but it's become more well known lately because of more of an interest in just the general mom and pop guy maybe wanting to not grow their own food so much but produce their own food uh, eggs chickens uh, right in their own uh, residential area yeah so the right to farm act actually was passed in the early uh, early uh, 1980s and it was really the state's response to people moving out from the city areas out into rural michigan and then wanting to dictate to farmers what conditions they were going to live in in fact, they were suing farmers as nuisances at the time, and the act actually said, it says that if, as long as you're in conformance with a set of generally accepted ag and management practices, you'll have protection from nuisance lawsuits. Um, so so the, what was happening is that people were moving out to the places of nuisances. What's happened over the last probably about 20 years or so, 15 to 20 years, is movement of uh, people in urban settings to try and grow their own food. And as a result of that, they're starting to actually grow livestock in more urbanized settings. And so um, the, the act was never really built for the nuisance coming into the urban setting. It was always for the urbanite moving out into the rural setting uh, where we traditionally produce food. And so um, what's happened over the last uh, uh, last couple of years is the Ag Commission for the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development has been working on a solution to try and identify uh, a way of allowing for municipalities to have more say regarding livestock in their uh, within their jurisdictions. Because up until very recently there was really no law saying that you couldn't have a cow or a pig or a horse or, or a bunch of chickens in your backyard even if you've got neighbors on both sides and you live in the middle of the city. That's correct. The act itself does not require agricultural zoning in order to have protection under the Right Farm Act. But again the act was passed to address people moving out into rural areas where we grow food, not moving the sources of nuisances into into more urbanized areas. But because it has been an issue, because roosters are cockadoodle doing in the middle of uh, you know the morning when their neighbors are trying to sleep, and I don't even know how many other nuisances come with a, a bunch of chickens in your backyard. Um, now there are some rules and regulations, or at least you, the state, have given local municipalities the right to say, no, you can't have chickens in your backyard. That's correct. The, uh, in, in the, within the Ag Commission just recently, they changed the siting gamp, which is the gamp that dictates uh, conditions under which you can place livestock or grow livestock. Uh, they changed the conditions there and created a new category that actually refers to primarily residential. And basically what it says is if you're in a primarily residential area, that's a location that's unacceptable for livestock under the Right to Farm Act. Now, if the locals want to decide that they want to allow for four chickens or three chickens. They can regulate it very specifically, right? Can you can have two themselves. chickens, they Correct. have to be in a certain size coop right. and that type of thing. Which is a great opportunity. There is a big movement right now across the entire country regarding producing your own food. This is an opportunity for that to occur right. in a way that actually allows each municipality to make that decision. Yes, urban farming, it sounds good until you're bugging your neighbor, but yeah. hopefully this will uh, put a control on that. Thank you so right. much for joining us Thank today. You. For more information on today's topic, you can visit michigan.gov forward slash right to farm. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was the Division Director for the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, James Johnson.